I know there are some people out there who have a soft spot in their heart for ThinkPad. I'm just honestly not one of them. And yet, the newest member of the ThinkPad X1 lineup that I have here is easily one of my favorite new laptops going into 2021. This is Luke with Digital Trends, and I'm excited to show you what makes this ThinkPad so unique. But first, make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. So ThinkPad, it's a brand known more for its legacy, the things that don't change about it over the years, than it is for its evolution. And that's why I was so floored by this new model in the ThinkPad X1 lineup, the Titanium Yoga. This was just announced at CES 2021, and I've got to spend a lot of time with it. Now, let's just start with the obvious thing. It's in the name of the product. It does use titanium in the lid, and titanium isn't a material we see often in laptops. In fact, I can't really remember a time in the past 20 years since Apple's old PowerBook G4 that titanium has been used in a laptop like this one, and it adds a lot to the overall look and feel of this laptop. It's got this great slightly textured metal on the lid that feels great, it feels really premium, and it's a nice refreshing change from all of the boring aluminum laptops that are out there. And of course, the titanium actually goes a long way towards strengthening the durability of this device as well. And that's gonna be important because this thing is really thin. This thing is less than half an inch thick and it's one of those features about it that you really have to feel with your own hands to really get. It's one of the thinnest laptops I've ever seen, especially one that actually has a quad core processor inside. A lot of these laptops that go for that ultra thin profile do it at the compromise of both performance and a build quality. And what's great about the X1 Titanium Yoga is it does neither of those. The Titanium Yoga is also one of the lightest laptops you can buy. It's only two and a half pounds. And it does that, again, without feeling like a cheap plastic laptop. The other future looking feature that I adore about this laptop is its aspect ratio. We all know that 16 by nine laptops are on their way out. They're basically dead in terms of new premium laptops in 2021. And a lot of manufacturers are going to 16 by 10. But the ThinkPad X1 Titanium Yoga takes that a step further by doing three by two. This is a much taller, boxier aspect ratio that I really, really enjoy. Despite it being just a 13.5 inch screen diagonally, I never felt like I wanted to move up to a 15 inch laptop or plug into an external monitor to get actual work done. Things like scrolling through web pages, reading documents, all the things that we want to do on laptops, having that extra vertical space is right where I want it. I just feel really productive when using a laptop in three x two. And all that looks great thanks to the fact that this is a really high quality display. You don't have to test it, you can just look at it and see how bright and colorful the images are. The three x two aspect ratio is also great for tablet usage. Now, the X1 Titanium Yoga is never gonna be a great tablet, but I think because of how light and how thin this is and because of its aspect ratio, it does do better in that department than a lot of two-in-one convertibles like this one. There's only one problem I have with the design, and that's these bezels. They're a little too big, wouldn't you say? Especially that bottom one, that really gets me because it just has that huge chin and it lifts the entire screen up off the table. It's not a good look, especially if you put this next to something like the Dell XPS 13. And part of that just comes from how thin this device is. When you have components like the keyboard, the speakers, and the ports, you can't really stack them all that much when your device is this thin, so you have to kind of spread them out. And that's just gonna be one of the compromises that you get with a laptop of this size. Fortunately, the thinness doesn't have a huge effect on the typing experience because it's still really good here. ThinkPad keyboards are famous for their chunky, long travel keys. And this one has all of the hallmarks you'd be looking for in a ThinkPad keyboard, including the track point little nub in the middle, which I'm still not really great at using, but I'm working on it. But it really is a satisfying typing experience. Now, one thing that the thinness does have an effect on that ThinkPad diehards are not gonna like is the port selection because you are losing USB-A and HDMI and you're left just with Thunderbolt 4. You get two of those ports and you get a headphone jack. And let's be honest, that's kind of the world we live in in terms of premium laptops these days. You can thank Apple for that. One other slight bummer is that the Titanium Yoga doesn't include a slot for a built-in stylus like the original X1 Yoga does. Still supports pen usage, 
but it's not gonna come bundled inside anymore and you're probably gonna find yourself using it less because of that. Now this model I checked out here is a pre-production unit, so I couldn't do any real testing on it, but it does come with the latest 11th gen Tiger Lake V Pro processors. Remember, this is a business laptop and all of the things that make those Tiger Lake processors from Intel so great are gonna apply here. So you can expect some decent performance out of this really thin and light laptop. This model here is the Core i5, which does include the full range of Intel XE graphics as well. All that is good and well, but the design of this thing is really what has me so enamored with it. For the first time, this ThinkPad laptop is ahead of the competition in terms of risk-taking, forward-thinking design, and I, for one, am never gonna think of the ThinkPad brand the same way again. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. The ThinkPad X1 Titanium Yoga is coming out soon. So what do you think of it? Is, are the features here enough to convert you over to the ThinkPad brand? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to click like and subscribe and thanks for watching.